Uh, yeah, I mean, I just I just did really well in this um, NASDAQ short in the Fed meeting. So I came in and, you know, it pays to do your homework. Uh, we were expecting uh, the rate hikes. We were expecting them to announce the rate hikes. The question was how many and how aggressively they were going to raise rates. So uh, on the decision of the Fed meeting, uh, we initially saw... So we initially... The first move was higher, right? So I'll bring up the... Uh, Here's the QQQ chart, and this is when the Fed meeting came, this first bar right here at 2 o'clock. And I noticed at the same time, uh, the TNX, the 10-year, has been, was also rising really quickly. You know, they announced they're going to raise rates in a few months. It makes sense that rates are rising, right? Mm -hmm. very, very simple math there. So uh, my thesis on the trade was uh, the NASDAQ, which has been super sensitive to any raise in rates because of the growth stocks and, and the forward-looking earnings and things like that and the risk appetite. So the, the second I saw the 10 year rising is when I began to leg into the QQQ short when we made that first top. Um, so I got into some here and then we we're waiting for Powell, Powell to speak 30 minutes after the decision. So these are five minute bars. So this is him speaking here. So I initially shorted that 354 area against these 357 highs. When it came right back in my face, I just covered half at my price because I was waiting for Powell. And then Powell came we got some more weakness. I immediately went to full size, gave it to these highs, and then I covered into weakness and I covered it all into this down move. I think we'll get a lot of choppiness, but I think um, noticing the 10 year on the rise, along with uh, that, you know, you never believe that first move in the Fed is what mm -hmm. they always say. Uh, I think that set us up for a real profitable trade. Again, pays to your homework. So uh, that would work out really well for us. It's always really gratifying when you have a hypothesis and it works out perfectly and you execute it really well. Now again, I don't think I could have executed this much better. Uh, you know, I shorted uh, into that little bit of strength against these highs, covered into weakness, covered more into weakness, and then co got completely out into kind of this low of day area. And now we could bounce, we can go lower, but you know, I got my trade off. Uh, I did really well with it. And you know, in this market, as I keep saying, know your levels and pick your spots. We stopped right at, um, yesterday right around the area of yesterday's lows where we bounced mm -hmm. so that's where i was covering that's where i was covering the most the bulk of my position because you know uh that's a huge support level we got there very quickly pays to know your levels